afternoon guys we are back over in the Rocheron area coming over here to a accident the scanner made it sound like a 18-wheeler hit a couple of vehicles I believe it's in this uh, corner up here somewhere Maybe it's from this next big little curve right there traffic is flowing at the moment um, so I'm guessing it's not as bad as the last one that we had out here uh, don't really know too much other than that I think we're picking up a GMC truck from what I'm told uh, don't really know anything about the condition or any injuries so we will be finding out here in just a couple of minutes looks like that's probably the 18 wheeler looks like it's got a little bit of uh, damage on it really so i got took out trailer uh tires there looks like there's a bunch of parts in the middle of the road See that one? Okay. Let me pull up in front here. There's a car off in the ditch over there. Let me figure out what's going on here. What's up, guys? Hey, man. Guessing. The GMC? Yeah, the GMC. What's uh, going on with it? Uh, front end, radiator. Okay. So all the wheels and tires are good on it then? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I drove it probably 100 feet from where, when it to got get hit. To get it. So. Okay. Well, it looks like you probably came out better than that one over there, huh? Yeah, right? Oh, yeah. That one's still got all kinds of junk in the road. Yeah. Is this one all-wheel drive or anything? What is it? Is it two-wheel? Is this truck two-wheel drive or? Two -wheel. Okay. Cool. You need the key? Yeah. Uh, yeah, if... Uh, yeah, I'll need the key. It, I won't really. What else do you need? That should be it. I mean, you got, I'm assuming it's a new truck. You'll get full coverage yeah. insurance on it. Yeah. So just let your insurance know that we have it. I can get you a business card and stuff. Yes. And uh, that way you'll have all of our you info. Need a copy and, of the insurance? Or what's that? You need a copy or a No, no, no. It, just call your insurance when you make the claim and tell them, hey, Campbell's Towing has it. And okay. they'll take over the rest from there. Okay. You have everything out of it you need in the meantime? Yeah. Okay. Let me. Uh, Thank you. Let me get turned around because I need to grab it from the rear. Okay. So let me get turned around here real quick and see if I need to right. do any of this clean up here. Bunch of clean up here. Start doing some of that clean up there, or trying to give me to do some clean up, get some of that stuff out of the way, or I, I, hey, if you can just kind of hold it how you got it that way, I'll, I'll just scoot it that way. Go ahead and get some of this big stuff out of the way for the next record. Yes, let me grab you one. And then we're good to go, right? Yeah, you should be good to go after that, as long as they're, as long as the cops are good with you. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, as long as they're, they're good with you. Um, awesome. The uh, address the truck will be going to is 701 South Velasco. It's, it's not on that that particular card. 701 South Velasco in Angleton. Okay. That's where the the central storage yard is. But the phone numbers and stuff on there, they can, we'll get you to our dispatchers where they can, okay. and they can, insurance will be able to work it all out from there, so. V-L-A-S-C-O? Velasco, yeah. Okay. Yep. Thank you so much. No problem, guys. Right, fire on. 
I'm seeing here. Some other stuff. Get the road clear so they can open it back up. Since we're having the road closed for this little bit of stuff, I'm surprised they don't have fire department out here. This stuff is for the little car, so I'm assuming that uh, I'll be sticking it in to there. So I get this glass cleaned up. I wish they would have. More traffic control out here. Still quite a bit of glass. Debris everywhere. like the uh, drivers of the vehicle that I'm picking up are doing okay not sure about the driver of the uh, car down the way trailer down there looks like you probably just got clipped by the uh, one of the vehicles, probably that one if I had to assume. Don't know if they're calling a wrecker for that one. If so, we are up for heavy rotation, which means we might have one of the big wreckers out here shortly. Got the road shut down. I'm probably going to finish this cleanup and turn around and hook mine. I'm assuming uh, Myers is going to come over here and get some of this cleanups. Most of this stuff belongs to that vehicle like the whole wheel and hub and everything over there. Got the road shut down for us.
should have my rollback back hoping tomorrow it's in the shop being worked on right now Bunch of debris all of up here. This, this stuff seems to be just little plastic bits. Hello. Uh, looks like a car crossed the line and hit the side of the 18 wheeler. Took out a couple of the trailer tires, but that's it. I don't know, it's sitting on the side of the road down the way. Okay, see the driver sitting out there next to it, so. Okay, I'll let him know. Okay. That was Donnie. I don't know why they're pulling on that thing with the bed like that. No idea what they're trying to do. Yeah, a little bit more of this glass. everywhere Going to hook mine real quick. Bring it over here and throw some of this stuff in it. Ooh. this thing over there. Your seatbelt is unbuckled. I know my seatbelt's unbuckled. Yes, I still need to grease the, the boom.
different ratchet. Luckily, I have an extra ratchet on the other side there. What's up? This one for me? Yep. Sir. Yep, thank you. You're gonna get this one hooked, then I'm gonna back over there and throw some of the glass and stuff in there. Okay. Yeah. Maybe the uh, spare wrench is on the other side. So glad when I get my truck back from the shop. I have all my equipment that works. thing down there we can use it for a little bit of cleanup storage looks like they got a heavy wrecker down there Appreciate that. Yeah. You get any, any other cleanup over there? Yeah, we got it, bro. 
Got it. Yes, sir. All right, guys. All right, appreciate it. No problem. Right. They said they got it from there. Looks like they got the glass bits and everything. Let's see if we can make it by the uh, heavy wrecker over there. side of the uh, truck here real quick. Wait for just a second to get by him. Not quite sure why he has red and blues on the front that's illegal come on guys you'll need to get out the way come on some kind of a rotator there can't squeeze by. All right, so we are past them. Myers is behind us there with there's loaded up so we got a little bit more working left with the heavy back there on scene but we got our end of it done so hopefully they get that clear and they'll have the roadway back open for all these people to get home so appreciate you guys for watching we'll be back at the yard here shortly we are back here at the central yard Get this truck dropped off. I stick it over here in one of those spots right there. Luckily, looks like nobody was injured on this one. I don't know about the uh, occupants of the other vehicle. The little uh, maroon SUV that appears to have actually struck the side of the 18-wheeler uh, trailer. That one was a little bit more banged up it had obviously a wheel missing hopefully the occupant of that vehicle is doing okay 
we went by it looked like the truck driver standing out waiting for the wrecker to come for his so let's turn on my PTO because it didn't turn on for some reason out a little bit get it to get it uh, centered up a little bit more and further back in not that it really matters but makes it look a little better Here, this one I get a lot of questions about this for some reason people are like why didn't you roll the uh, why you didn't roll the uh, windows up or what happened with rolling a lot of the vehicles that uh, people ask that on it has like windows busted out of them to where you can't you can't roll the window up so what you have to do is uh, if you can roll the windows up you can if you can't you have to cover the window by some means I don't know how well you can see it that one that's all crunched up over there how it has the plastic over it you need to put crash wrap on it a tarp some way of keeping the elements out that is required for having a vehicle in storage get my tow light all right, we got this one unloaded. Again, if you would, keep all the occupants, the uh, vehicles involved in your thoughts and prayers. We're gonna go ahead and finish up the little bit of paperwork that I have to do and then be ready for whatever comes next. Thanks for watching, guys.